Hi, I'm Matthew, um, 36, and this is Lachlan, and how old are you? Eight. Eight, and we both have congenital heart disease. It's kind of one of the strangest things to have and have an organ like taken taken out of your body and, and, and someone else's heart put in that's, I guess it's kind of, some people, <laughs> it's hard to fathom. Even for me, it's like a surprise sometimes that, that, that I've been through that. When I had my transplant, I never could have imagined being in an operating theatre, but now that's what I do full time. I don't think people have a negative opinion of heart failure as such. I just think they don't have any opinion because they don't really understand what it is in children. Iris was seven and a half months old when she um, when she got sick. The doctor said that she looked really quite unwell, that he was worried, uh, and that's when they took her into recess and things went really quickly from there. I just thought that she was dehydrated. I remember saying to Sam, like, what do they mean? It's her heart. Um, and I think, yeah, we just went through a lot of disbelief and then kind of thinking that it was, that it couldn't possibly be that bad. But um, just as we were sort of thinking about listing her on the transplant list, her heart started to show signs of recovery. Then they told us that they were going to um, explant her off the Berlin heart, that her heart could um, do the work on its own now. So now she is a perfectly healthy, normal girl. From an Aboriginal community, if they're coming from a long way away from home, um, the, the struggle is the distance. And the other one is um, understanding why they're there um, and the length of time that they're away from home. And also making sure you know, that we understand that they're missing community um, and that we, we, we can't give them everything in their culture. What were some of the hardest things that you found um, coming down to Melbourne? Mama Lisa was, was worried about you getting a heart transplant. She was worried about my spirit yeah. being taken away. And what would you say about that now? That my spirit's still in there. It's still there, yes. And how does Mama Lisa feel about that now? A bit happy. Yeah, yeah. When I was 15, I had a heart transplant. So, yeah, I, had, I was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy, but I spent probably six months um, quite ill um, trying to get treatment. Since then, I've been fortunate enough to meet plenty of other people um, with different different types of heart failure, you know, a lot of people can 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 live relatively normal lives, um, like myself, um, and other people really have to to sort of centre their whole life around around their condition. Uh, so it really just affects um, people so differently. My biggest worry, if I'm if I'm being genuine, is. Um, is dying unexpectedly and just leaving, um, leaving that burden with, with my friends and family. I just kind of explained it so I was like, I've got half a heart, I can't run as fast. I sound like Darth Vader on a good day. I turn blue. I call it Smurf mode nowadays. People need to understand what we go through and what happened and how rare how dangerous our conditions are. I've got HLHS, which is hypoplastic left heart syndrome. I have a long one. It's um, a double outlet right ventricle, atrial septal defect, um, ventricular septal defect, muscle treasure, and a hypoplastic left ventricle. I've also had the fun time procedure. Both of our kids were born with a condition called left ventricular non-compaction cardiomyopathy, which essentially means that their left ventricles, instead of being a thin compacted layer of muscle, is a thicker spongy layer, so the heart doesn't pump properly. Uh, Amelia is almost five years post heart transplant after she went into heart failure due to her condition. Elijah is currently stable. He's on just one medication and is just being watched every few months by cardiology to make sure his condition stays the same. I was born with a 
Single ventricle, basically, um, hyperplastic right ventricle, a double outlet right ventricle, coronary atresia, and you know a couple of other bits and pieces. I was born with half a heart. When I was about 27 is when I was listed for transplant. Um, and then it wasn't for another almost two and a half years until I got the transplant. Because of all my previous surgeries, they told me that the surgery itself was very risky. So there was a very serious chance of not making it out of surgery or a major complication that would be life altering in a not good way. And so for me, it was, I get the phone call and from that day, my life could end or it could be turned but very bad or there was the chance for it to turn very good. And I got the third option of very good. And so, yeah, that's, that was the hope.